Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm actually going to show you something that I think is really cool. It's called White Door, and basically what it does is it allows your older iDevice, such as an iPod Touch uh, first generation or an iPhone 2G, to get some of the features that uh, you would normally get in iOS 4. And it also lets uh, some of the newer devices, but still old devices, such as the iPhone 3G or the iPod Touch second generation non-MC model, to uh, be faster using a modified version of 3.1.3 and adding some iOS 4 features. So I'm going to go to their website right here, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is their website right here. I'm just going to go to features, and this is everything it includes. I'll just list them off really quick. It includes jailbreaking and hacktivation for iPhone 2G and iPhone 3G, uh, wallpapers from iOS 4, springboard wallpaper, iOS 4 dock, uh, also the reflective dock, iOS 4 icons, Emoji enabled battery percent. It has uh, all of these next features for just the iPhones, tap to focus, Bluetooth tethering, native multi-messaging, character counter, which I'm assuming means uh, in-text messages, USB tethering, and video recording. It also includes multitasking for all devices and it says that folders are currently in development. So basically you can just download one of them. You can either come to features and download it or you can come to downloads and download it. Basically it is a modified version of Ponage Tool therefore it is Mac only at the moment. So I just downloaded the iPhone 3G one and that's the one I'm going to be using to demonstrate. So basically you just have to launch it up and it gives you this copyright message. You can just click OK. And depending on which one you picked, it'll say uh, it only works for that device. So if I hover over the one for the iPhone or the iPod Touch second generation, it says only works for the iPhone 3G. And it also says up here to select expert mode. So that's what we're going to do. You must click expert mode. Then go iPhone 3G and just hit next. And then uh, you can either browse for your ISPW or let it try and find it. I'm going to browse for it. And it's on my desktop, so I'm just going to click on that one and open that up. So now you get the option to go through a couple things here. Uh, in the general, you get to activate the phone. I don't want mine activated because I'm on AT&T, so I'm just going to uncheck that. And then you can go next. Boot newer is actually for the original iPhone, so you don't have to worry about that unless you're on the iPhone 2G. So you can just click next, and you can add different things here. You can uh, manage packages, meaning you can add uh, certain deb files, or you can download packages from different sources here, or you can add sources here. So after that, you can just click next, and you obviously want the city installer. This is uh, custom packages and settings. And then after that, you get the custom logo settings. I'm just going to uh, leave them the same. So you can go next from there, and then you can click build. And it just builds your ISPW, and you can name it whatever you want. So I will be back when my ISPW has finished building successfully. Okay, so now it has finished building my firmware, and now it just asks me if my iPhone 3G has been pwned before. And it doesn't really matter what you click here, so I'm just going to click yes, and then OK, and then I can just exit out. Basically, all you have to do from here is just open up iTunes, and then make sure your device is connected. And mine just popped up in iTunes, and it's asking if I want to download the new firmware, and just click no, do not ask me again and then uh, it'll try and sync it. I'm just going to slide to cancel to stop it syncing. And uh, now I can just go right here. And all you have to do is just hold down Alt and click on Restore and then find that custom firmware. Mine is right here. I'm not actually going to do it right now because I don't really want to. Uh, but I will be doing it later because I think 4.0 on the iPhone 3G is pretty horrible. So if you get a 1600 error, there are a few things you can do about it. They recommend going to their site and doing their method. However, the one that I found to work pretty well is restoring back to 3.1.2 and then once from there, uh, unlocking and jailbreaking if you have an iPhone and just jailbreaking if you have an iPod Touch uh, using Black Rain. And then uh, once from there, just normally restore. You don't have to set it into DFU mode or anything. Just hold down Alt if you're on a Mac and Shift if you're on a PC to restore to that custom firmware you made with White Door. And then uh, you're pretty much good to go from there. Their method was exactly the same. However, they said to try and set it into recovery mode. And if it didn't work with that, then set it into DFU mode. But you really don't need to set it into either one of those modes. It really doesn't matter. 
So, like I said, if you get a 1600 air, just make sure you downgrade to 3.1.2 and then use Black Rain from there and then use the custom firmware from White Door. So, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I hope they improve White Door in the future by making uh, folders and a couple other things. That would be pretty cool. Uh, if you guys like this video and you haven't already subscribed to me, please subscribe to me. And also the written instructions for this video was taken from my blog. The link to that will be in the more info. Please go to that, check that out, follow that blog if you could. And also if you like my videos, just click on a few ads to support me. So have a great day guys. This is ICU signing out.